Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how to customize and create digital rewards for our Teams meeting using the Praise feature, using the Sticker tab, using illustrations inside PowerPoint, using design ideas inside PowerPoint, using word art inside PowerPoint, and last but not the least, the most favorite Bitmoji. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Teams meeting. The first feature I would like to talk about is the sticker tab. So here I am in my chat. All I have to do is scroll all the way down until I see this little square smiley sticker tab. Click on it. And here you have all these cool, fun stickers that you can use during your class meetings. The one that I like to use the most is, where is it? Team Squatch. I usually try to use this when I'm telling my students I'm on a coffee break or I don't check a lot of emails or things like that. But there is also, when I scroll down, there is also, where is it? There is also word art where you can simply go ahead and click and tag your students. So I'm going to click on amazing and I'm going to tag a student. I'm going to say at, I'm going to tag myself, say amazing. And there I have it. Now let's go back to the sticker tab and scroll down and find my favorite one, which is the meme. So you can customize these memes. I'm simply going to click on this meme and I'm going to say, you got this. I'm going to customize my student's name. I'm going to say Rose, you got this Rose. And I'm going to click done and I'm going to send it to her. And there she has it. I highly recommend browsing all these cool, colorful stickers for your students, depending on what grade level, how your students are, and what their likes and dislikes are. The next feature I would like to talk about is the praise feature. As you can see, when I click on these three ellipses, I do not have the praise option as the Teams has updated. In order to have that praise feature, all I have to do is go back to my main Teams window. But what I would like to do is split my screen so I have both the windows on the same page. So Windows right arrow. Let me go back to my Teams and Windows left arrow. And there I have two windows. Now all I have to do is click on the chat that is this particular meetings chat. And as you can see, this is my praise right here. But if you don't have this, click on the three ellipses and type in praise. And there you should have it. Go ahead, select whatever praise you like. I'm going to select courage. I'm going to type my name. And I'm going to say good job. I will preview it and I like it, I'm simply going to click send. And as soon as I click send, it automatically updates in your chat window, in your meetings chat as well. Now let's go ahead and give it one more try. Praise. I'm going to say awesome. Again, I'm going to type my name. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm yeah, I'm going to say good job again. Preview it and send it. And there I have my praise. Now we've seen the sticker tab, we've seen the praise tab. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use Microsoft PowerPoint to customize and create much more fun rewards and stickers for our students. So here is my Microsoft PowerPoint. All I had to do was create blank slides, insert the stickers and customize them as I want. So here is my stop talking, here is great teamwork and as you can see, I can change the names. I'm going to say Bob and Emily. I'm running out of names. I'm going to say Bob and Emily. Right? So I can customize it as I want. But how do I paste this into Teams? Let me split the windows again. Windows icon and left. And here I have it. So I'm going to click on the slide that I want to copy. I'm going to click Control A to select everything, control C to copy everything. Now I'm going to come back to my meetings chat, click on it, 
and then control V and click enter. And there I have it. Now let's try one more. I'm going to say great work. I'm going to say great work. I'm going to add great work, Jose. Increase the font. Change change the font to however you like it, change the colors. Now all I have to do is select everything. So control A, control C, go back to my Teams window and control V. And there I have it. So here are a few more things that I have created. I usually like to have them ahead of my meeting. So I know that when my meeting starts, all I have to do is control A, control C, and then control V. So here is my word art. There's a way to insert your word art as well. Let me go ahead and show that to you. Simply click on your word art, copy, go back to your teams and control V, and there you have it. Now let's go ahead and create a word art. All I have to do is insert word art, and I'm gonna say nice try Zach. Go ahead, increase the font if you have to. Make it bold. And change the background. Do whatever you want. Copy it. Go back here and paste it. And there you have it. Now let's go ahead and create a blank new PowerPoint slide. Use illustrations or icons and stickers and make something fun. So here I am on my blank new slide. I'm going to insert i'm going to click on icons here and i'm going to click illustration and i'm looking for education which is right here i'm going to scroll all the way down to find something that i like i think i like this ribbon here i'm going to insert it and as you can see, as soon as I click insert, Microsoft is giving me all these cool design ideas. Go ahead and pick the one that you want. Um, let me scroll down further. I think I like, yeah, I think I like this one. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm simply gonna enlarge this, move it to the side. And all I'm going to do is click on the text box and say, good job Bob I'm gonna change the font I'm gonna change the font to white increase the font and then all I have to do is control a control C go back to my teams window and then press control V and there I have it now let's click one more. I'm going to insert a brand new slide and you can go ahead and insert stickers however you want. Let's insert this one and see what pops up. As you can see, the design ideas are popping up right here. I'm going to click on this one and I will click on my text box and say, good thinking, Sarah. Good thinking. Increase the font to whatever size you want. These are the fun ways. I always have my PowerPoint presentation right next to me when I'm teaching my class. And once it's done, once you're happy with how it turned out, let's, I think I'll click this one, yeah. I'm gonna click Control A, Control C, go back to my Teams page, and then Control V. And there I have it. If you want to have split windows, make sure you split your windows so you can see exactly what you're doing. So we did see the sticker tab. We saw the praise tab. We saw how we can use Microsoft design ideas, illustrations, and word art. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use Bitmojis to customize our rewards. To do that, let me go ahead and open a Chrome window. So here is my Chrome window again. I like to split my screens, so windows and left arrow. All I have to do is click on the Bitmoji here and good job, Caleb. I type what I want and once I get what I want, I'm gonna right click, copy the image, come back to my Teams, Control V, 
there I have it. And if you want to just oppose, go ahead, just click oppose and then right click, copy, come back here, tag a student. I'm going to tag myself and control V and say, keep up the great work. There you go. Simply using your Bitmojis. And I'm going to copy this image, come back here, control V. Congratulations, Anna, and enter. There you go. Let me just do one more Christmas. Right click, copy, control V, and Merry Christmas class and enter. And there you have it. Now let's just say you want to kick it up a notch with your Bitmojis. All you have to do is simply copy the Bitmoji that you want, go back to your PowerPoint, paste it, and then customize it based on the design ideas. Here I have all these cool design ideas. So just click on one. Click on the text and say, happy holidays, increase the font size. I think I like this one. Once you're done with your slide, control A, control C, and come back here, control V, and enter. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really want to use all these fun, cool stickers during the class and make the class interactive. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.